Hey you guys, this is Beth from Dainty Daisy Merchandise. Thank you so much for stopping by my channel. I'm a part-time reseller and a stay-at-home mom. In today's video, we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We have an untested box of jewelry from an antique estate sale. I ended up buying this off of CT Bids of South Arizona. So this is coming from Arizona. And CT Bids is a website that I love to buy off of. It's another one that I recommend, especially if you're looking for mystery jewelry or untested pieces. I don't come across it very often, but when I do, I always love to snag it up. So let's go ahead and open this up. Here is our box. I am going to set this to the side and we're going to go ahead and dig in. If you are interested in any of these pieces, be sure to check the description where you can find my shop links and you can also find my email. And this box again was coming from CT Bids. I purchased this for $45. I think I paid that with shipping. So it was a pretty good steal. And I think that we're going to find some awesome goodies today. Again, this is going to be an untested estate sale box. So very excited to see what we find. Okay, first up, it looks like we have a little like zigzag, maybe 925 silver chain. And we do have that 925 silver mark. I always like to check it with a magnet as well. So if you have a magnet laying around, I suggest that you whip it out for these sterling pieces. All right, we do have some magnet in the class, but as you guys have taught me, there is a spring inside of this and it would be magnetic. So to be expected with that. And the rest of this looks really good. So this is a beautiful little 925 chain. I love 925 chains. They're great to add with any of the pendants that I find with my Goodwill blue boxes. So I will set this to the side. And I do sell these chains separately. And I do include a chain if you request it. So if you would like a 925 silver chain or even a 14 karat gold chain, I have quite a few of those as well. And this is going to be another 925 silver mark. This one's got Italy as well. So that is always great to have that Italian silver, very shiny, elegant chain. And if you are interested in buying a chain separately, I usually sell my 925 pieces for 30 plus dollars, depending on the design. But this is a nice thick chain, really shiny, lovely chain there. Right, we're going to keep digging through. Next, we have this gorgeous, looks like there was a lot of like maybe some turquoise and some mother of pearl inlay. And this has a Zuni mark, which is going to be Native American Zuni tribe. And I would love to have this redone. I do follow the Native American Jewelry Identification Group on Facebook. Highly recommend that group. And this is definitely something I would love to get remade. Next we have... Looks like some earrings. I don't know if we're going to have to match these, so we're going to start our earring pile. This looks like some gorgeous, maybe moonstone. Beautiful piece there. And it looks like it's most likely going to be silver as well. Really nice thick silver. And I do keep all my scraps. I plan to melt it all down one day and hopefully make a bar or two of silver and gold. But yeah, that looks like it's going to be silver. So I don't see any markings on that, but it's not magnetic and it really is giving me that silver look. So I'll acid test that later on. Lovely piece. We'll start our earring pile with that one. And we have another lovely inlay earring there. Again, assuming it's silver, this looks like really good. There's no like bubbling on the metal or anything like that where it would show that possibly a... silver plating all right we do have a mark on here it looks like it says 925 so another great silver piece that one would be really fun to mix and match with other pieces love all the colors in there really cute design next looks like we might have some lapis and possibly some more silver 
great piece there another beautiful lapis piece and i love lapis love the little silver designs on there giving me another native american look and next we have a lovely little ring here with a tiny little stone it looks like there's some etching work on there as well all right we have a mark on here all right this is 14 karat i'm assuming maybe white because it's w 14 kw with an arrow and an s on it so not sure about the arrow the w arrow and the five maybe size five not sure but 14 karat gold so let's go ahead and test that really quick Again, this box is not tested, so we'll be testing most of these pieces today if they are gold. Always encourage you guys to have those acid tests on hand. Very easy way to see if you have gold or silver. And you're going to tell fairly quickly if that is real gold. And, and that one is staying on there pretty good, so we're going to say that is 14 karat gold. And let's test the stone in there. It's a fairly decent size. I'm gonna assume maybe, I'm gonna assume maybe sapphire. I might be able to get it to diamond if it's cleaned up a little bit. I can't think of maybe that's sapphire. And I'll get it cleaned up and we'll do some further testing on that stone. But lovely find there, 14 karat gold. It's going to be fairly small, maybe a five or a six, but gorgeous piece. Another one that will be hard for me not to keep. You guys know I love my rings. All right, let's keep going. We're going to have a stash of rings here. Go ahead and keep digging through here. It did say that this was a crafting lot as well. So some of these pieces are going to be bent up. And were used for jewelry making. Looks like somebody was already practicing. Kind of bonding those two pieces together. I'm assuming that this is going to be maybe silver. But let's test it with the acid test. We're going to go ahead and hit it with the 14. All right, that ate that up right away. So I'm going to say that is most likely silver. We have, so we'll add that to the scrap pile. And I will most likely, again, just keep these for my own experiments later on. Now, sometimes I do sell lot boxes with these crafting pieces as well but most of the time I keep these pieces for further endeavors another most likely silver ring not magnetic either beautiful piece no markings on it but I'm assuming it's silver all and I don't see any marks on it so another piece that was going to be worked on most likely well, this is lovely. Maybe some marcasite. It's missing a couple of the marcasite in there. And this is 925 sterling silver. That's a nice thick one. And I have a couple of marcasite pieces that are also missing some stones. That might be something that I can repair myself because marcasite always sells well and beautiful heart design never gets old. This is a beautiful ring. This would look stunning in, this would look stunning with a nice shiny gem there. Gorgeous piece, another silver piece. And this is quite a bit of weight in silver. These are quite heavy, have a lot of weight to them. This is another one that most likely had some jewels in there, beautiful. And I am such a sucker for these floral designs, anything nature related. I love. Okay, I don't see any markings on that one either, but another silver looking piece. 
And these will all be really great crafting pieces for me in the future. I would love to do jewelry making and definitely looking to that as my kids are going to be starting school in the next couple of years. I'll be going back to school. So we will be learning lots of new things on this channel. And I was actually out last week. I missed you guys so much. You guys are so sweet with all your kind words for spring break fun. I had an awesome spring break with family and friends. And we also rented our house out for masters. So if you want to watch and see how we did some of that renting and how it went, be sure to check out my shorts videos. That beautiful 925 chain. Really nice chain link piece there. It's got a little knot on it. I don't want to pull on it too hard and bend it. So be really gentle with those 925 chains. Another really nice one, great item for resale by itself or with a pendant. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Just in the silver necklaces alone, in the first couple, we have made our money back. So $45 in this box was quite the steal already. This is another 925 piece. I like the little like spacers, the spherical spacers in there. Love that design. Another one of the single necklaces I could sell without a pendant. I'll do this one for $12 on here. Another super shiny one. I love the ones that are very shiny. Another 925 piece. Check it with a magnet. Very similar to that one we found earlier. All right, sterling and it looks like CCK. I'm not sure of that marking, but nice bracelet again. Super simple. I love these sterling bracelets. They're one of my favorite ones to wear. Just a classic chain link. Bring me back to my Tiffany & Co. early 2000s days. Love this one. I'll do this one for $12. And you are going to find your best price here on my YouTube channel. So don't be shy. Be sure to email me with any inquiries. I've been catching up on my comments and also on my emails. So I know you guys have been hearing from me. All right, this has a WK Mark 925 Sterling Silver. I'm not sure about the WK, but this is a beautiful necklace, really nice. I would sell this for about 40 to $45 on my Poshmark and my Etsy account. On here, I will do it for $20, really pretty piece. Another beautiful chain link item. All right, that one's stamped 925 as well. This is another really intricate one. I love the design on these. So I will do this one for $25. And then lastly, this beautiful, really dainty chain. And I always suggest that you guys check those tags because some of these are gold. I found a couple that I thought maybe were silver and they turned out to be gold. This one is 925 silver and gorgeous little twisted rope design. I'll do that one for $12. And then another zigzag one. Absolutely love these sterling pieces. And that's got that sterling silver Italy mark as well. So I'll do this one for 18. Really love the zigzag design. All right, looks like we're going to have these a couple of these like giant plates in here, which would look so lovely on some turquoise. All right, 11 sterling HK. Not sure, but this has some weight to it. Like so much weight. The scraps alone are really nice. Sterling HK09. Looks like just a manufacturing mark on there designer mark. This would look so beautiful with a big chunk of stone in it. All right, this says sterling as well, YMCA with some really pretty inlay in there. So I'm gonna have to look this up and see if it's worth some money because this has got some weight to it again. So very nice piece.
All right. Next, we have this cute little family tree. My mom loves all the nature as well, all the nature pieces. So that's reminding me of her. All right, another Sterling Mark, great Sterling piece. And that would be super easy to sell. Nature and animals are great sells for me. Okay, no reading on those stones, but I would most likely sell this pendant for 30 plus dollars on my shops. Looks like we're going to have some more scrap silver. And I just find it so fascinating, jewelry making. So I am looking forward to doing that in the future. Really cool pieces there. I like the little border along the edges. All right, we found another possible Zuni. It is Zuni. And of course, it's got the jewelry maker's initials. So JRB on there. So I'll have to do some research on that one and see if I can get these repaired because they're so gorgeous. I love these bangles and the inlays in there. Beautiful silver work. So I will definitely be reaching out to the Facebook page, see if I can get some identification. All right, maybe some amethyst. See that 925 mark on there. Let's check the stone. Beautiful amethyst reading. And gorgeous stone there, quite the chunk. All right, this is another sterling piece, and it's the Cleveland Twist Drill Company and possibly 2015, so I will put that in the scrap as well. Ooh, look at that. Looks like maybe some tanzanite. That's a really deep hue, deep purple hue, almost navy blue. Let's test it. It's reading in glass, so I want to say that's maybe tanzanite. I've got another bracelet that was also tanzanite that read around that area. So gorgeous piece. We will add it to the earring pile. Looks like we're going to have lots of single earrings, but I have some great 925 chains. I can turn most of them into a pendant. 925 sterling silver. Lovely inlay. Crushed turquoise, it looks like. Beautiful. We're going to keep digging through here. We've got about four. We've got about six more squares to go. This is a nice thick chain on here. It's pretty dirty. 925 Italy. This is a very thick chain as well. Really nice. And then we've got this pendant. 925 silver as well. Let's check the stones. It looks like we're going to be reading glass, so I'm guessing this is a CZ pendant. And it might be missing a stone or two. Beautiful pendant. They said this one was about $20 on that price tag. PHA bracelet. I think that's got a 925. FBM, and then it's got 925 mark on there. So I would do about the same, probably $20 plus. Dollars. I would definitely, on my shops, I would sell this for $30 plus dollars because of fees and shipping. But lovely piece. Really like that one. I will definitely be adding to my collection of things in this box. Nine two five SU silver Italy mark. Another lovely chain. So many chains today, and I don't mind it one bit. These nine two five chains are so helpful. Ooh, this one's really long. I don't come across the longer chains very often, so that's very nice. I would sell this one for maybe fifty plus dollars. 
So that's a great find. Just this necklace alone is going to pay for the box. So really great score on this one. All right, we're going to grab a couple more squares at a time. Going to have lots of little earrings and little bits, it looks like. Okay. Look at those. That is so cute. Thinking maybe it was an earring or maybe a part of a bracelet or something. Don't think I see any marks. Lovely pieces, possibly turquoise. I don't see any marks on it, so let's check it with a magnet. It is not magnetic. So what do we think these are? Are they earrings? What are these? Gorgeous. Loving the turquoise inlay, of course. Okay, 925, it looks like again. Yes, another 925 mark on that one. Lots of single earrings, but you guys know I don't mind single earrings. Any little bit. I can turn into profit always helps and having sterling is even better got this tiny little stud here i don't think i see any marks on it but sometimes they're on the back and the backing is missing on here let's check the stone not getting much of a reading on there either so might just be some zz in there beautiful cat's eye the mother of pearl i love that one so cute and i'm a hoarder of single earrings as well so a lot of these will go into my collection and I do like to hold on to metals more than I do to like diamonds and things. I would prefer to invest into gold and silver. So all these silver pieces are great, great finds. And gold, of course. Another great find. And for $45, you can't beat it. Beautiful chain. I really like the twisted look on this one. 925 again, beautiful. I'll do that one for 25. Little pin there, looks like it's gonna be sterling as well. Another maybe YMCA. Okay, this is Jostens, G DG Jostens. Check it with a magnet. It's not magnetic, but it doesn't have a sterling or anything mark on it. it. does have that gold hue, too, and brassy look. For Steve, with love, from Carol and Tish. And this is sterling as well, and it's got a little marking on it, like maybe three crosses, like Celtic crosses okay very interesting I'm not sure about that mark there but nice piece another really nice weighted piece this looks like a class most likely 925 silver as well definitely giving me that look I don't see any marking on it but pretty sure it's gonna be sterling all right, now we're coming down to the last items, and these have quite a bit of weight to them. We have a backing here as well. I keep all my backings. I reuse them, and I also keep them for scraps as well. Sterling, great backing there. All right, let's look at these last two chains, and then we'll get our hands on these really thick bracelets. Another lovely twisted chain worth. 30 plus dollars, 925. This is a long one as well. Beautiful piece. And then last on the chains, we have another super shiny one. 925 Italy. Love the shine on this one. Another twisted one. I love my twisted 
silver. All right, first up we have Helga, it looks like. And this is pretty crazy. As much jewelry as I have seen in my time of unboxing, I have not come across a Helga. And my husband's Oma is Helga. So this is most likely going to go to her. She loves jewelry just as much as I do. Okay, this is Peru 925CCZ. Beautiful piece. Another really nice weighted piece. And she's pretty small, so I think that would fit her. Oh, this is going to be so perfect for her. I cannot wait to give that to her. Gorgeous piece. Very chunky. And to find Helga. I mean, I don't feel like that's a super common name nowadays. Beautiful. And she loves like cursive too. So I cannot wait to give this to her. I'll put that aside for her. All right. This one's even heavier than that one. So let's check this out. I'm thinking maybe this is a man's. Yeah. Stephen H. Arthorpe. Really chunky piece. Wow, that has got some weight to it. Look at that clasp. Wow, gorgeous. 925, mark on there. Wow, this is quite the piece. Not magnetic either, so what a find. I cannot wait to weigh this and see how much silver we ended up having. I will put it in the video, but I am so excited. This was such a fun box. We completely emptied out that container, and I love these containers, so I will be reusing this as well, so another bonus because these aren't cheap either. So yay, we found some really nice pieces. We ended up with some gold, some gorgeous Zuni work. I love American Indian work as well. Some awesome pieces for my loved ones. I have so many goodies. I don't even know what to do with this. And again, just highly encourage you guys to think outside of the box. Check out those CT bid websites. They are phenomenal. A great resource as well alongside Goodwill Blue Box. And as always, please hit that subscribe button. And until next time.